being on tour with people that had certain people, even my parents, known that I was out on tour with and spending six to eight weeks of my life with, they would have flipped out. And realizing now that there's still some of our greatest friends just leaves a really, really bad taste in your mouth. And I think that we all hit this pivotal point where we realize that, like, oddly enough, um, Aaron, singer for Me Without You, and I had a conversation a while ago. They've been really good friends, and we've had uh, a lot of theological conversations, and they've had a lot of crazy uh, journeys spiritually as well. And so I take a lot of solace in them as kind of peers. And I remember speaking to Aaron um, about an issue I had and was super kind of confused for a second, um, probably seven years ago. And he didn't even get into it from a specific, he didn't even want to give me the answer so that I could sit there and say, uh, oh, I talked to Aaron and Aaron told me this, so now I feel better. He literally just told me to set fire to it. And he's like, look at your faith and look at your belief system and look at your upbringing as a house. And look at the things that are truth as concrete and the things that are not and the things that are convoluted from people's worldviews polluting your mind or pushing their agendas on you as, you know, the wood, the paper, the couch, the, the drywall, the everything. And it's like you set fire to that house and when all is burnt away, the only thing left standing is the concrete, like the truth, like the foundation, and that's what's real. Everything else was just bullshit. And you can just piece back together that house as you see it now, as long as that concrete still exists.